this is just a video about battery voltage. What we've found over the years, I don't personally work in the service department, but a lot we have a lot of service techs out there. My specialty is working with customers at trade shows and rallies, campouts. Customers come to us and say, hey, something's not working in the camper. My lights aren't working. My furnace stopped working. My refrigerator shut off. Older four-wheel campers typically don't have a battery monitor in there. So the customers, a lot of the times, the battery's just too low. Whether their truck's not recharging the camper battery when they're driving, they don't have a solar panel on the roof or they're not ever plugging into shore power to recharge the camper battery or batteries. So the most important thing, you can buy a digital, if your camper's older and you have at least a 12 volt outlet here, it's a great investment to buy a 10 or $15, $20 volt meter. This one, generic, they make different versions of this. This can plug into a 12 volt outlet and it'll give you a general idea on battery condition. Green, fully charged, yellow, the battery's getting low, red, the battery's pretty much dead. A lot of customers don't realize that a full battery is, they call it a 12 volt deep cycle battery, but if a battery is at 12.0 volts, it's only about 50% capacity, which is almost dead. So a fully charged 12 volt battery usually has a resting of about 12.7, 12.8 volts, somewhere right in there as an average. The most important thing is making sure your batteries are charged up. If you let your battery sit for days, weeks, years without being topped off, they start to diminish in quality and life. The life expectancy of a battery will die out quicker if it's not fully charged all the time. So they recommend keeping it voltage at 12.5, 12.6, 12.7. Keep a good charge on that thing, plug it in once a month, top it off, put a solar panel on the roof to keep that battery charged up. And if you're having problems in the camper with electrics and certain items, refrigerator or furnace and stuff are shutting off early, check your voltage, buy a voltmeter, make sure you got 12.5, 12.6, 12.7, somewhere up in that range. Um, the newer four-wheel campers have a built-in voltmeter. In the last year or two, we've been implementing that stuff. This is actually the older version. The newer version we're using is a Blue Sea. We'll show you that in a minute. But it keeps you in tabs with daily, weekly, whatever you're in here camping, you can make sure your voltage is high. Right now, this camper is plugged into 12 volt and battery and also shore power. So we have the power converter on. So it's getting the battery recharged. So the voltage is exceptionally high, 12.5. It's in a charging state. And in a resting state, when we have the shore power and charging off, this will be sitting at about 12.7 or 12.8. So if you have any other questions, there's great YouTube videos out there. Just you know, do a general search on how to check your voltage on a camper battery. But a little voltmeter like this or anything similar works great. Hope that helps. And we'll show you the new version in just a minute. This is the newest version. If you don't have a portable version, like if you could buy a new four wheel camper, they're getting better every year, better appliances, new features. So in the blue, we use a blue C component at the moment, 12 volt outlet. USB outlets, two of them, and then a digital voltmeter. So if it's showing all red, that's gonna be sitting at like 11.9, maybe 12.0, showing your battery is very, very low. If this is reading about 12.2, 12.3, 12.4, it'll start to go into the yellow. And then right now we're in shore power, full charge coming in, but at a resting state of 12.7, 12.8, means a full camper battery you'll have all your green lights showing but if you start to see just yellow or all red showing it's time to either start your truck let your truck run for a little while and charge up the camper battery put a portable solar panel out or plug your camper into shore power and let the power converter in your camper if you have one do the charging of the batteries for you
So just kind of good tips and tricks to keep your camper up to date. Nothing worse than having no power without power in your camper. You're kind of dead in the water. You need good battery power. You need good voltage to run your refrigerator and your lights and your fans and your furnaces. So we hope you helps and uh, happy camping.